Oh. Woo. Woo. All right, snowshoes on. Let's go to the campsite, Bruce. Coming up to the campsite, there's the tarn. I don't think we're going to get any evening sun, unfortunately. Yeah, so this is deceiving. This is all water here, it's covered in snow. This whole thing is a tarn, so I've got to be really careful not to fall in, walk around it. But very deceiving. If you came down here for a drink, you'd end up in in the water. Poor Brucey, look at him, struggling away. Whoa. All right. Here we go. This is, see all my footprints from before. This is where I had the tarp last week, where I bashed it down. Oh, it's nice and compact. Nice, nice, perfect. I'll bash it down a bit more. Bash it out a bit more. Get on with it. I'm in the tent. As you can hear, it's sort of, oh no, it's snowing. Full on snow. It's come very early. I don't know how that happened. They got the forecast completely wrong. It wasn't meant to happen until tonight. I got here just in the nick of time. Um, I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, Poor Brucey, because I don't want him out in this. Much warmer in here. This isn't a four season tent though, so we'll see what happens later. But I have been in this in heavy snow before, and it hasn't been a problem. It builds up around the edges and you have to keep knocking it off at night. But yeah, as I said, big deal. Sorry about that. Right, so I'm gonna cook up. Some, uh, some rice and stuff, and uh, I'll come back to you when I've got that set up. Well, cooked up my dinner. Well, not dinner, a snack. I had some Uncle Ben's egg fried rice, and uh, cappuccino, and now I'm just having an OSM bar. And I'm watching a movie, my phone, Netflix, downloaded, while watching. Uh, Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. Yeah, I used my butane burner out there. I didn't video it because you don't need to see me cooking on butane. I don't know how the sound is. I don't know if you can hear sort of rain, snow, sleet going on. As it gets colder, that's going to turn into quite heavy snow, I think. So yeah, I'm snuggled up in my Enlightened Equipment Revelation quilt. This is a minus 12 degrees centigrade quilt, so I'm gonna be toasty warm in here. My Thermarest Neo X Therm. Bruce is on his X Therm Z Light. He's happy. Although he would rather be outside running around, but I don't want him out there now because he'll get soaked and I've only got a small towel for him. So it's, he's had his dinner, he's happy. So look, I'm going to kick back, assume you can hear this, it's chucking down. I'm getting toasty in here. Again, this isn't a four season tent and I don't have a four season inner, as you can see. There's a lot of mesh. But there's no air coming in, there's no wind blowing in at all through this mesh. So, it's pretty good. You don't, don't feel the cold. I've got vents open at either end. Um, and I've got one half panel of the door open, just so I can see out. But, you know, I've been in this thing in heavy snow. All you got to do is bang it a bit and it's fine. Snow drift does come in because it doesn't go all the way down to the ground. And there is no way to do that because of the frame. That's the only downside. But just cope with it. All right. I'm going to kick back, relax a bit, watch the movie. I wish I bought my camp chair because you can actually sit up in here. But hey-ho, I just didn't want to have all the weight. And, you know, where do you stop? All right, I'll come back to you later. All right, back to dinner. I'm just uh, making up some sweet and sour lamb. 
Bruce lying here. Brucey, come on. Mm -hmm. You've had your dinner. Oh, you've had your dinner. Just boiling up some water. Let's have my dinner and some another cappuccino. A little bit of cramp. Let's drink more. Very cold, it's zero now. Uh, so things are going to start freezing, I'm sure. Just been, uh, just been watching my movie. Really toasty, warm in my sleeping bag. Feet are a bit cold, but they'll warm up. They always take a bit, bit of time. And after eating dinner, definitely I'll, I'll be warm. Um, perhaps just boiling now. That didn't take long. I'm using the Ali, uh, again, another Chinese burner. Um, the very lightweight one. Which you'll see when I take this off. Almost boiling. Almost. I'm sure Bruce wants to be outside, but it's horrible out there. Right. I might have to let him out just to go and do a poo just before bed. We'll see. Oh, it's nice and warm in here now. Deep from this. So this is my burner. I can't remember what it's called, the BS2000 or something like that. The BRS. Yeah, BRS. Um, it's a good burner. It's good. Cheers. good so you can tell that the winds getting stronger hoping it doesn't start pushing against the tent inner looks like it it will tonight but if it freezes it's okay not a problem but anyway I've got a nice draft through here to make sure no condensation comes through but yeah it's pushing it quite hard this Air Hubba Hubba NX2 it is pretty close to here, to the outer. And it doesn't matter how much you move it and tie it down, if it's windy, there's not much you can do about it, it just comes in. I've got the top open to, to vent as much as I can. Just have really great winter dog fur. He's got his full winter coat on. Um, so he doesn't need a blanket. He just lies on this Z-Lite. And he's happy as Larry. Very warm. He's got, you can't see it on the camera, but he's got such a thick, downy winter coat. Uh, he's used to sleeping outside in his kennel. Um, and we go out in the tarp, don't we? Mm -hmm. we go the tarp. All right, all right, settle. We go out in the tarp and he goes on a blanket, but he doesn't, he doesn't need to be covered. He's absolutely fine. All right, I'm gonna have my dinner. I'm gonna have this cappuccino. Anyway, well, thanks, Bruce. You're blocking out all the light now. All right, I'll come back to you later. All right, enough for tonight. Uh, I'm gonna carry on watching my movie. I had a great dinner. I'm gonna relax, chill out. I don't want to go to bed too early. Um, have a little chat with Bruce. Maybe let him go out and do his ablutions. And I'll see you guys in the morning, unless something mega happens in the middle of the night that I have to report on. <laughs> oh, Bruce, lie down. Lie down. I know. Good morning. Lie down. Lie down. Okay, enough. Enough. Shh. Lie down. Lie down. Enough. Stop. Stop. So, sorry I got Bruce's foot in your way. Let me bring him here. <laughs> He's got pink feet. Seven o'clock. It's good night. Although I was sliding around a lot. One thing I've noticed about this enlightened equipment bag, this quilt, is it really sweats and the outside of it is always soaking wet. Now it is treated so it's one way. It all comes out and doesn't go back in. 
but still it means you end up with a really wet sleeping bag that needs to hang out. I guess they're all like that really, it depends what material you've got on the outside. Oh my god, they're mornings, mornings. Morning Gucci, come up here, here. Okay, now lie down and calm down. Just stay calm. I know it's a lot to ask for Porter Collie. Stay calm for a minute. One minute. Yeah, so I was warm. I've got double loops on this one, so yeah, very warm. I had my puffer jacket on all night though. Because I just felt comfy with it. That means I can have my arms out. I hit my hood up. I didn't leave my beanie on, just had my hood up and had my gloves on. I like to be warm, toasty. Bruce was fine. He was curled up. He was all good. My iPhone I just got out, which I charged 100%, and now it's showing 30%, 40% because it's cold. So that is 100%, but it needs to warm up. I think it's time to let him out to go and do his stuff. He's going to play for hours now. He won't come back in, even though it's freezing and howling out there. And the tent is covered in oh, snow. I know. Please stop. Snow on this side. Ice on the other side. Bruce hates it. Thank you, Bruce. Stop it. Yeah, it's ice. Ice and snow. The combination of ice, snow, and rain. Oh, Brucey. Find the camera. <laughs> Alright. Let's go this way. Because oh. he's a nightmare. He's an absolute nightmare. He's so excited to go out. And he hates it when I start knocking the top of the, knocking the snow off the tent. Absolutely hates it. He, sometimes he sings for his breakfast. Oh, he heard the breakfast word. You want your breakfast? He's wagging his tail. All right, breakfast time. We're gonna let him go out for a run and um, come back to you later. Hopefully you can hear me, it's windy out there. Always interested to know how the camera does in the wind. Right, I'm just cooking up some oats. I'm using a butane four season mix yeah, from Jetboil. This stuff's amazing. You don't need to heat it up. You don't need to put it in your sleeping bag. It's just got a really good mix of butane that just lights, just goes. This little burner is amazing but you do have to use a windshield. It doesn't work without it. You lose so much heat otherwise. I'm waiting for the sun to come up. It should be here soon. It's quite cloudy though. If the sun does come up, then uh, you should have a nice view. All right, all packed up. Just got the tent to do. Got my boots on. Go outside, put my gaiters on. And yeah, I'm just sitting on the Bruce's kit mat, which goes on the back of my backpack because it's, it's frameless. So this goes in here, goes in last. It's a uh, complete whiteout outside, just grim. You can probably hear the tent is blowing around like crazy. It is cold. The wind chill is really going to be cold out there. But I've stripped down to just all I've got on is my thermal top underneath. That's it. And just a wind layer. Because once you start walking, you get really hot and I don't want to sweat. So I'll be taking the beanie off as well and just have the hood up. Uh, let me just show you outside if you can't see. Yeah, just can't see anything. I don't know where Bruce is. He's running around somewhere. Yeah, so pretty grim out there. This is not going to be a nice walk out. I don't know if you just saw Bruce on there. I don't know where he is. He's over there somewhere. So um, I'll report back when I'm on the move. Boy, you having fun, huh? Being out playing. Hey. 
difficult to put this on when Bruce is licking you. Alright Brucey, good boy. Right. Alright. We're set, good to go. This is hard work. Going out a different way. Thank God for the snowshoes. Couldn't do it without them. Very windy, very cold. Oh man. Bruce is way ahead. Having a great time. Hey Bruce. How are you doing? I want to get Brucey. Bruce, come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Oh, it's so deep, isn't it? Good boy. Come on. You gonna come and say hello? Hey. Oh, you having fun? Hey, come on then. Let's go to the track. Come on. Look how much he's struggling. But he's loving it. He could walk behind me, but he chooses just to go off, do his own thing. He's been out here for hours playing. All right, in the distance there, the poles, the markers for the track, that's where I'm heading. Get up there, get in the actual track, and I can take my new shoes off. All right, catch her over there. Alright, uh, made it. It's just started snowing as well. Good time to get off the mountain and get down. It's just over, well, it'll be just two hours to the car without any stops. Time is 10 past 10 a.m. Should be in the car in two hours. Right, let's get cracking.
and thanks for coming on this trip. It's um, been a blast, always fun, going up the tops with Brucey. Hey Bruce, are you gonna say goodbye? Brucey, what's this? Are you gonna say goodbye? Bye everybody. That's uh, from Bruce. Um, look, it's always fun. I love going up the tops. I've done quite a few winter trips up there now. I am ready for spring and summer uh, because you can take less gear. Oh, it's just nicer and longer evenings and then we'll be in the hunting season, uh, which is always a great blast. So thanks for joining us. And uh, as you know, usual, if you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments box. Um, like the video, please, if you do like it. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. I try. It's hard work doing all this and getting out there and, you know, it's not free. Um, it takes a lot of work, so please don't dislike it because people, uh, people uh, don't like that. <laughs> all right, thanks for joining us.